In this video, we're going to find the transpose of a matrix in C. So the transpose of a matrix is a new matrix whose rows are the columns of the original matrix. So if we have this matrix here with 1, 5, 9 in the first column. In the transpose, we have 1, 5, 9 as the first row. We have 2, 6, 8 as the second column. And then the transpose has 2, 6, 8 as the second row. And on and on. So the transpose is also going to have flip dimensions. This is a three by four matrix, whereas the transpose is going to be a four by three matrix. Let's actually define some constants for the number of rows and columns in our matrix that we're going to find the transpose of. So here I'll say number define M and I'll say three and then number define N and I'll say four. So we're going to define our matrices using 2D arrays. Here I'll make the original matrix. And what I'll do is I'll make it the same as this example here. So here I'll say int a m n. So it's going to have three rows and four columns. And then I'll say is equal to, and I'll put in as the first row, one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight as the next row. And then we'll say nine, eight, seven, six as the third row. Now for the transpose, we're going to declare it with n rows and m columns. So we'll say here int t n m. And this is going to store the transpose. And so we flipped the row and column dimensions. Next, let's make a function to actually find the transpose. So here I'll say void transpose int a m n and int t n m. And so the function has two arguments. The first argument is going to be the original matrix stored in the 2D array A with M rows and N columns. The second argument is going to be where the function stores the transpose into the 2D array T with N rows and M columns. So we'll copy and paste this here and we'll provide a definition of the function down here. Now the way we're going to solve this problem is we're going to have a loop inside of another loop. And in the outer loop, we're going to have a counter variable go over all of the rows of A. In the inner loop, we're going to have a counter variable go over all of the columns of A. So here I'll say for int i is equal to zero, i is less than m, i plus plus. That's going to be our outer loop. And then our inner loop will look like this. We'll say for int j is equal to zero, j is less than n, j plus plus. So what's going to happen here is this loop is going to use the counter variable j to go over all of the column indexes of a from 0 up until n. And that's going to be done for all of the row indexes, which is what the counter variable of this outer loop is going through by going from 0 up until m. So in here, we're going to say that t at j i is equal to a at i j. And the important thing is that we flip the indexes here when we actually go to use these counter variables. So here I'm accessing the array a at the index i j. And I'm storing it into t at the index j i. So by flipping the indexes like this, it's going to have the effect of flipping where the data is stored in the matrix t. So the things that are stored at the jth column in A are now going to be stored at the jth row in T. The things that are stored at the ith row in A are now going to be stored at the ith column in T. And it's going to have the exact effect that we want of flipping the columns and turning them into the rows of the new matrix. So let's actually test this function out now. Here we'll call transpose and we'll give it A and T. Now to make sure it's actually found the transpose, we're going to have to print out T and look at it. So here I'll say for int I is equal to zero. I'm going to say here I is less than N I plus plus. And then I'll say for int J is equal to zero. J is less than M J plus plus. And I've got a very similar logic to what I had in the function here, where in the function, I have the outer loop going from 
0 to m with the counter variable i and the inner loop going from 0 to n with the counter variable j. Here, I've just sort of flipped the dimensions. And that's just because our transpose has n rows and m columns. And so our inner loop that goes over the columns now has m as the endpoint. And the outer loop that goes over the rows now has n as the endpoint. And so here in the inner loop, we're going to print out each element in a row. So we'll say printf percent d t at i j. And so this inner loop here will output each row. After the inner loop has output each row, we'll say printf slash n and output a new line. So that way when the next row is printed out, it's on a new line. So we'll save this and run it. And what we expect to get now is this matrix here. And if we look at the results here, that's exactly what we get. We get 159, 268, 377, 486. And so we've written a function in C that can find the transpose of a matrix. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.